hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandments. So our duty, the way, the reason we on this earth is to fear God and keep his commandments. How do we know how to fear God? By the words that he gave us. He gave us the Bible. Deuteronomy 28 and 15. You're ignoring it. I'm not ignoring it. I'm not ignoring it. But the foundation of all of that is us knowing who we are. If we don't know who we are, I can, I can have a business and that don't mean nothing. Yes, I know what self-righteousness is. Self-righteousness is somebody that is, is arrogant and they own thought processes. They own mindset. No, they're not. I'm reading the Bible. Ain't nobody making me do this. Yeah, that's why it's not mad. Read the Bible. This is the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, who wrote the book of Deuteronomy. Y'all are giving this creation. I've never read that though. Who wrote the book of Deuteronomy? Um, I don't even know. First books of the Bible, I think it was either written by Moses or maybe Enoch or something. I'm not. It was wrote, written by Moses. Read that in 27 and 1 real quick. It was written by who? Moses. I do. And who did he write it to? Tell me I'm writing it if I Who did he write it to? You're right. Who did, who did he write it to? Oh, no. I forget it. I forget it. Let me read that. Yeah. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 27, verse 1. And Moses, with the elders of Israel, commanded the people, saying, Keep all the commandments which I command you this day. So Moses wrote the book of Deuteronomy to the Israelites. And this is one of the things that he wrote to the Israelites, 28 and 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hurt you, unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day. So, read it again. So we're going to read it again. He said, That has nothing to do with us like coming together. Listen, more harmonious group like listen, you said it don't, you know, you know, it's, look, I mean, one, like, two, three, four, five, six, right six now, seven, man. eight. You know it's eight of us out here and none of us knew each other. We all above 30 and up. We didn't, none of us knew each other when we, was, when we was teenagers. None of us knew each other when we was in our 20s. We met because we came together keeping the commandments of God. Yes, yes. That's what we're supposed to be doing as a whole, as a people. You're right, but it extends beyond that. It's not only that's, about that. Yes, that's the, that's the foundation. Right. This is the foundation. I never said one time. This you're is not the foundation. Going, you're not going beyond that, though. You're stuck. Bro, you've been here for, what, 30 minutes? You think we're going to go through everything just in the time that you're sitting here? But let's finish. Let's read. We got to start with each other, not in a book that meant to separate But the book identifies who we are. We're going to know. Listen to this. Because look, I just read in Isaiah 46 and 10 that he declared the end from the beginning. This is the beginning, right? Deuteronomy. Right. In the wilderness, we knew we was Israel. We called ourselves Israelites, right? So read that again. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So Moses wrote to the Israelites, he said, something going to happen in the future that if you don't listen to the words of God, meaning if you don't do his commandments, read. To do, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So God told Moses to tell the Israelites, if you don't keep the commandments, then these curses going to come on you and overtake you. What is a curse? Suffer from? What's a, what's a, a, a plain word that you would tell to a child? What a curse is? It's something bad. Right. When you think a curse is something bad, it ain't nothing good. Right. It's a bad thing. So let's see. It says, he, Moses told the Israelites that if you don't keep the commandments, if you don't do what God says. So let's say, one of the things that God, one of the commandments of God is that men grow their beard. Don't shave your beard. 
Another commandment we got is to wear fringes on the board of our clothes. Another, right. another uh, commandment is for women not to wear pants. So he said, if you don't do those things, let's listen. Let's see what some of those curses are. Read verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. So the city of Chicago. Would you say that in the whole, are the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, are, are we blessed in the city of Chicago or cursed? We cursed. During the times when we were when we were in slavery, when we were in slavery, was those cursed conditions or were those good conditions? Those are cursed conditions. No, it's that's what that's what they did. I was trying to take him so y'all going around in circles, man. That's the that's the. But listen, 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 listen to what you just said. They were praying to the wrong God, right? What is what is what is one? What's the first commandment? Nah. Yeah, hold this and go to Exodus 21. Have no other gods before me. So what we just read in 28 and 15. Because you just said this. What? No, 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 hold on. Go on somewhere. So listen to this. So you just said they were praying to another god, right? Even the one, even even the blacks that were already here in America, what was they doing? Sacrificing flesh, all of that, right? Read 28:15 one more time. But listen, listen to that. So the thing, the thing that you got to think about after that, okay, they was praying to another god. Why? Why did they go into slavery? Because they was praying to another god, right? Read verse 15. But it shall come to pass. If thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he said, bad things are gonna just like you got children. So if you if your child, if your son, your daughter, you tell them to clean their room. If they room ain't clean by the time you come home from work, it's gonna be an issue. You go to work, come home, they lean and they lean, lean, lean back on the couch with the TV on, watching TV, watching BET. What you gonna do? They in trouble. You gonna you gonna you gonna uh, deliver on your word, right? That's what happened here. This is what happened to us. This is why we was packed on the slave ships because we did. We went against what the Bible said to do. You know what he gave us? He gave us a choice between life and death. He gave us a choice between life and death. He said, choose life, and you're going to live, and choose death, and you're going to die. What is that? What is that? No, I mean that. I'm not even going, bro. I'm not even going. I'm still in slavery. Still in slavery. We was in this type of slavery, what? 1960s, because they were still doing it. 400 years, bro. Bring it out. 400 years. You ain't going to tell me. We got 20 middle cousins. 48. On a, on a plantation, you got three Caucasian men out there on the field watching 20 men of color. Right. None of them 20 men of color came to the decision of, hey, look, we can run this. Sometimes only three of them got five in the house. My wife is not cooking the food. Why did we sit back in the house waiting on a God that wasn't ours? You said a God that wasn't ours? So, with that the thought process, that same thing is going on today. But the thing about it is, we are out, we outnumber every, every nation on this earth. But, we are the ones at the bottom of every society. And, and we think in our mind, man, this common sense, man, we should just get together and take over. If it was that easy, if it was that easy, we'd have been done it. And think about it. But, but the thing of this is the thing. Right. But what you have to change your mind to. What you have to change your mind to. Why are we disconnected? Y'all have been broken since y'all believe in the crucifixion. 
You might That's not black men are dying today. I know I'm not gonna reach everybody. Because the Bible say that. But listen, because everything that you're saying is true. But the thing is, the thing that's missing is you haven't connected the dots with the Bible. That's right. Because the solution is in the Bible. No matter what nobody say. Because you just said, did God do it or did the white man do it, right? Yeah. Read that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. Notice it. Listen to that very clearly. He said, this is one of the curses. He said, therefore, you're going to serve your enemies that the Lord sent against you. So God sent the enemy against you because you broke his commandment. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>